Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Well, this is something I've been wanting to, I've been thinking about for the last couple of years, trying to figure out. Um, not necessarily trying to figure out. I just more curiosity, seeing if uh, I've always wanted to try grown June berries in a uh, in one of my hydroponic systems. Well, so what's the big deal? Well, with June berrying, as you see here, this is just a plug, so it's last year's baby. It's not, basically uh, not even a year old plant yet. So basically what you do with this, you grab it, you throw it in your garden or plant it in your garden and uh, let it grow for a full year before, you're, before you attempt to harvest any type of strawberries. So you want the plant to focus all its energy on just growing a nice strong root structure. And if the berries start to form, you pinch off the berries and uh, basically all that kind of good stuff. So right now it's March and these plants start producing right around in my area probably about the mi middle of June so I have a really short time frame on trying to get these plants to establish a really good root system and produce a decent amount of uh, strawberries so I'm not really too sure if it's possible but there's a couple things I wanted to try so alright here we go well there's two things I'm doing differently or maybe a couple things but First thing is I usually wait till probably the middle of April before I even start getting uh, before I even start growing anything or running anything into my hydroponic system. So just I usually wait till weather starts warming up. And two, I usually just run it through water for at least a couple weeks or run the plants through water before I start adding any type of nutrients. That way it gives the plants a little bit of time to establish establish their roots and stuff like that. Well, this isn't a very good picture of my TDS meter. But I'm starting these plants um, right off the bat at 400 ppm. So, and I will be gradually increasing these, um, increasing the ppm levels at least by 100 every every uh, water change. So, and I'll be doing water change once once a week. So, hopefully by when I hit May, I should be running right around 800 ppm. So that's usually about the max level I run my hydroponic strawberries at. Well, I ended up with some leftover materials from my larger grow bed that I just, just got done. Alright, here's a clip of the grow bed I just got done building. And up there on the, up there on the right, I'll have a link to, so if you want to watch that video, go ahead and click on that link. So, Alright, this little setup is basically just a deep water culture. I have no air snows, no air pumps. There's no power required. And this is not a cracky method. I'll be changing the... Uh, I'll be doing water changes at least once a week with this type of setup. So it is kind of like a modified cracky system, or basically, I guess the formal name would be deep water culture non circulating system. So a lot of words. So, well, to wrap this up, I'm not very confident um, on how this is going to work out. Um, I think the climate, the weather is going to have a big. Uh, a big part to play in this. I'm not going to cover this up. I'm just going to leave it outside. I just want to kind of see how how it's going to do. So I'll make a couple more videos, just showing, kind of showing what's what's going on. And uh, so, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them below. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch and comment. All right, guys, take care.